we knew that we would see um, unprecedented attacks on people's human rights, and that hasn't been, in fact, what we've been dealing with. Uh, we've had horrible uh, policies that have been put in place that affect people's lives and livelihoods. Um, literally one week after the Women's March happened, um, the, the administration put into place the first version of its Muslim ban. Um, and so one week after having been out on the streets for that beautiful show of solidarity, we were at airports protesting um, for people to have the right to get out of the airport and come back home um, to their families. So, uh, and you know, we've had, we've had to fight to protect our health care on multiple times. Every time they just come back with a slightly different version and try to do it again. Um, and right now we're fighting so hard to protect um, undocumented immigrants who are brought to the U.S. as children. And this is a, something that the majority of Americans support, and yet we still have to fight tooth and nail. Um, and we ha haven't, in fact, done it yet. Um, but at the same time, just as his election galvanized uh, women to not be quiet anymore, to stand up, to make their voices heard, and to say this isn't right, um, and we're, we want to do something about this, uh, we've seen that continue too. So we had, um, for International Women's Day last year, we had a demonstration uh, strike. Uh, we called it a day without a woman. There was also like a international solidarity, so I believe there's strikes all over the world. Um, we had uh, a march on the NRA over the summer, um, which again, like students are standing up to the NRA in the US right now um, after this shooting in Parkland, Florida. And uh, in October, we had the first women's convention that the US has seen, the first intersectional feminist convention um, in about 40 years. So I, we, you know, we're gonna keep, keep fighting. It's, uh, it's been a lot of attacks, but also um, a lot of energy to fight back. The Women's March started uh, with a Facebook post by a white woman in Hawaii, and in the beginning there was a lot of criticism that this was going to be a white woman's movement um, and it wasn't going to have space for black women. And the, fortunately, the, some of the initial women who were involved reached out and uh, two women who have been leading the movement, uh, have been leading marches against police brutality and been very involved um, in movement work who are connected to uh, mentors from the civil rights movement and really bring that uh, historical legacy with them. So we made it our purpose and mission to center the leadership of women of color. We've, we said that um, in many different formats and then we built this intersectional platform, the Unity Principles, uh, which really aimed to expand the concept of what is a woman. You know, we, we sometimes want to boil it down and try to make an average woman so she cares about reproductive rights and equal pay, but um, you know, there's so many other issues that are affecting women. It's so important and valuable and educational for me to be here and just to see how um, we're fighting the same problem. And you know, like the specific details can be a little different because of like the local context, but really um, the same tactics and strategies are being used against our movements. And so we need to also be sharing knowledge, strategies, and uh, wisdom of how to resist. We were very challenged um, by the, the right to to show that we were not welcoming all women, as we said, because we weren't welcoming pro-life women. And our response was that, you know, we actually are welcoming pro-life women. If you are pro-life, personally, you can still come, you can believe in all the other things that we're fighting for and we can fight together. What we won't stand for is you deciding that I'm going to be pro-life and the government is gonna force me to be pro-life. And so that's unequivocally against our unity principles and the, the values that we stand for. My dear friend Linda Sarsour likes to say unity is not uniformity, right? And so I think that a lot of times when we use the word solidarity, we have this um, feel good intention, um, but solidarity in practice um, actually looks like really challenging yourself to show up for women of different backgrounds. And so um, for instance, I know that oftentimes um, women are used in this framing of being anti-immigrant to protect women, right? But it's up to us as people who are not immigrants to say, wait a second, women are immigrants too. 
and then to also look for ways that we can bring the voices of immigrant women into the media, into our conversations, and censor their leadership because they're the ones being affected by the issue.